Hello there. Welcome to another episode of the Story Vault. My name is Aisha V. And today you're going to see something special, soulful, did I say sexy? Oh yeah, and amazing. <laughs> I am so excited. The only hint I've got today is cha-cha-cha. Please welcome Eno and Fassi. From generation to generation, who we are as people will always remain. It may not stay the same, but home, heritage, and culture will always be where the heart is. Join the Wedding Doctors as we chart a diversified course as to who we are as individuals and a couple when it comes to the homeland. From games to conversations, food and music, Back to My Roots will be insightful and entertaining. Only on the Wedding Doctors. Stay tuned. I told you you were going to see something very amazing. <laughs> I am seated here with two talented dancers, Eno and Fati. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? Hi. I'm great. I mean, whoa, come on, guys. You guys are looking so great, beautiful, refreshing. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank, you. You, thank you. Oh, well. So, I mean, let me just go ahead and start with what inspired you to start dancing? I mean, the way you guys move. <laughs> Well, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I would say anything in particular inspired me personally to start dancing. I think I, I fell in love with the art form because of how it made me feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it was anything external. It was how it made me feel. Mm -hmm. So every time I danced as a kid, I was happy. So I'm like, you know what? If I was angry, I would dance and I felt better. If you're going to cry, yeah. you would dance. And I'll feel better. And then when I go for a party, I would dance and they would give me party pack. Yeah. So I said, there's something about this dancing. <laughs> I just kept me going back every other time. Yeah. So yeah, for me, that's you, what I'm saying. Me, I would say, seriously, I just got interested in everything that has to do with dance. I saw myself dancing since I was a child. And then when I went to school, I followed the dance way because I saw there was a class there were people dancing and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for that class. I'm going to learn. And then it's just been that way, like, since to date. Okay, so both of you just said something like since. So you were dancing since you were children, since you were a child. Yeah. Okay, how old were you? Oh, how old was I? I was probably six years old. Six? Yeah, because, like, we had a crew wow. back then in Benue State. All of, all of us, like, we're just in a crew. We're, like, five. And then we used to dance in birthday parties and all of that. But then everybody went to uni and then we all separated. But you then just kept the dance. I just, kept I just got interested. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I mean, what age did age? you start dancing? I mean, can you uh, give us a number? <laughs> no, I, I think from when I started walking, I started dancing. Oh. Yeah. I was I was I was that kid. Yeah, yeah that I, kid. I was that kid. That kid that we always go for the party. Yes, yeah, so yeah, I was I was that kid. I mean with those moves, I yeah, can I, you. you were that I girl. Was that kid. Yeah. I was that kid, yeah. yeah. Okay, so what was your childhood like? Where are you from? I'm from Benue, actually. I grew up in Makodi. I had my primary school in Makodi and then my secondary school I had in Abuja. That's when my head I mean, I was started exposed. It <laughs> started spinning. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I'm from Akwaibom <laughs> State. Um, I grew up in Kenya, grew up in the U.S. and Abuja. Abuja. Yeah. Abuja City. Abuja <laughs> City. Abuja City. <laughs> ABJ's own. Hmm, so almost like now, I would say dancing is your profession. Would you say that? Dancing. It's my profession, yes. Okay, yeah. what about you? I'm just really getting into the market now basically because i've seen that really really this is it like this is just it i mean it's just how to make money out of it now that's yeah. the next step and you look beautiful doing it honestly <laughs> you look great like the whole, thank you the i know you're more of into salsa that yeah, latin vibe and we yeah. have hello here who is hip-hop 
Afrobeat, like Afro name it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, as I said, it's my profession, so I might have a major which is hip hop, Afrobeat, but I am trained in almost everything. Yeah. Almost everything. Yeah. Hmm, so it seems like dancing is what it is you do, your profession, your everything. Is there anything else that you do or you're into or? things that you like to do apart from dancing like to do well i like to play basketball but that's <laughs> yeah. just a hobby yeah. um, but dance is my mother hustle i would say so like there are a lot of things hustle. that spring off from dancing you know there's creative directing there's choreography i like to teach kids a lot yes, you know yes, so know. <laughs> yeah for yeah. kids classes there's <laughs> directing regular directing i've directed some movies i've directed yeah. ads so but everything in the creative space of dance basically yeah so what about you any other things that you're into apart from that uh, breaking <laughs> breaking that waist you know <laughs> funny enough uh while growing up i know my my brother wanted to dance and my dad was like dance dance where <laughs> like you know so i already got that vibe of no dancing in the house so i went to study i graduated as civil engineer I also went to study yeah. insurance and risk management. Yeah. Graduated. Uh -huh. First class. That's oh, right. <laughs> Blew that topic, like girl. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, so I'm into all those things as well as dance. But dance is really the passion. Yeah, dance is just it. Tell us about more of the genre you are interested in. I know it's more of Latin. And so why particularly salsa? Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know, when I went to study, I went to study in Mexico. So when I went to study, I actually just, you know, said, okay, I'm going to study civil engineering. That's what they want. And that's going to be it. But then... So wait, hold on. You study civil engineering in <laughs> yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Weird, right? Yeah. I mean, Isn't that weird? weird? It's cool, but it's weird. Right? I mean, in Mexico. Yeah. I mean, to Mexico. So how, how do you understand? How, how did you understand what they were saying? I mean, do you understand Spanish? Oh, I had to learn Spanish. <laughs> give us something. Give us something. Whoa, give us something. Give us something. Give us something. Yeah. Pues, pues, ¿qué puedo decir? Este, estuve en México por cinco años. Es ok, es ok, es ok, es ok. Oh, my goodness, wow. Okay, mucho yeah. gusto. Ah, mucho gusto. She actually just said she understands Spanish. And, <laughs> and that is pretty amazing. And you gave us a translation. So, now I'm going to ask for another one. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, could you just, just say, good morning, darling. What would you like to eat? Buenos días, cariño. ¿Qué puedes? ¿Qué quieres comer, pues? Who did he expect me to ask? Okay, what, what is his favorite meal? What would he like to have for breakfast? For breakfast, he would have sandwich. Okay, then what is sandwich in Spanish? So you know what to say next time. Sandwich, okay. actually. It was just sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Right. Yeah, it's kind of with you. okay. So now uh like you're talking about salsa and how you got into that. So what yeah. is salsa music? So like they were teaching of course it's Mexico, so they wouldn't teach hip hop in their schools. They would teach what, you know, is their country or beneficial to their culture. Exactly, basically. exactly. So they were teaching salsa, they were teaching bachata, cha cha. cha and then cha. I was like, Okay. This is it. I want it. Give me the full package, wow. you know. And you got but it. Yeah, I, mean, I registered. I mean, I was very faithful to my classes. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. It paid off. Yeah. Real, really. yeah. So now yeah. back to you, and uh, yeah. uh, you know, I know you do dance classes. Yeah, I do. So what motivates you to do that? How do you do it? What is the drive? So many questions. Just tell well, me why. <laughs> for, for dance classes, um, I do professional dance classes that I teach hip hop and I teach Afro beats but i also do dance fitness classes now for my dance fitness classes i see that as a way to give back to let me not say community but i give back to everybody who is interested basically you know um you have an avenue where you're learning how to dance at the same time you're keeping fit so you if you don't want to go clubbing mm -hmm. <laughs> but you love <laughs> loud vibe. music and you love <laughs> the vibe, vibe. Yeah. You come to the class and we're giving you the music you love, we're giving you the vibe you love, we're giving you the moves that you see on TV that you love and you want to learn. Yeah. And at the same time, your physical body is actually doing some work. So yeah. it's yeah. it's a combination of everything and it's, hmm. it's interesting. You've been mentioning that physical part. So you yeah. mean like, for real, please do. How often do you really walk out? Like, it's, So uh, dancing is the workout, but I mean, do you have to like go to the gym to keep fit to now do the dance steps? Hmm. Well, it's, it's personal. It's up to you. I would always advise, you know, you can hit the gym, push up some weights, do some yoga, yeah, everything. Yeah. But at the same time, 
the dance is the major part of it because as i said you may not want to go clubbing not every time you know but we'll give you the most gym sounds are usually just techno and mm -hmm. upbeat but here you actually see and hear those those sounds that you love that you or your playlist mm -hmm. exactly so yeah. we bring your playlist to life yeah, basically yeah, other people, right? and with yeah, everybody the yeah. yeah so there's motivation with every other person there's in even class. networking even. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you you attend his classes she's there Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I think you enjoy them, do you? I do. Are you just attending because no, it's my class? No, seriously, mm. I do. Like, the first time I met him, we hadn't even talked about marriage or anything serious. And I went for the classes. I was losing weight. I was like, okay, I'm impressed. <laughs> this boy is ticking all the boxes. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, like, and I love working out. So, I mean, that, that just makes it easier. You just dance and you are good to go. So, I mean, I love it. That will be part of your drive as well for dancing is just the fact that get to that fitness like you said you're some parts and you, you <laughs> like that about about the dance yeah i like that about his dance fitness classes yes but of course i would train i would go for rehearsals anything that has to be done but then i like the fitness classes as well okay. because they just keep you in shape yeah keep you in shape yeah mm -hmm. Actually, i'm gonna try and adjust you that should <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we're waiting for you we're waiting for you <laughs> What else is your drive behind music? Why, why is it that you're so persistent? Like you said, as a child, no time for dancing, but you still maneuvered your way. Mm. So what is your drive behind dancing? Honestly, I just want to um, get the best out of myself, especially when it comes to dancing. Like I just want to bring out the best in me. I feel like I haven't reached that potential. I've haven't, I haven't like brought out everything that I have to offer yet. So you gotta keep going. Yeah, so I just I just going. want to keep pushing. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some of the challenges you face so far? You know, being a, uh, will I say, a salsa dancer or a ballroom <laughs> ballroom dancer? What are some yeah. of the challenges you face? Mm, of course, as a dancer generally, you're supposed to. I believe you're supposed to know almost everything. You know everything. As as it should be able to dance Afrobeat, you should be able to do hip hop. You should be able to do everything. You know and i do a little bit of all of them <laughs> but i would like to like increase in those areas as well so that's my challenging point and then of course the parents and every other person that feels you should be an engineer oh, and not yeah, a dancer so what about you and uh, what are some of your challenges that you faced being the amazing dancer that you are you know doing what you do well in, in nigeria uh as a dancer and as a dance artist, it's incredibly tough because, like she rightly said, sometimes you have issues from your parents and sometimes, you know, there's no industry that helps you, you know, build on this art form that you love so much. But what's worse is the fact that you're perceived like you are a wannabe, a gangster, the wayward <laughs> child mm. that has no future ambition anything as they yeah, call it you know yeah. so you know the, the stigma like you also rightly put it that's the worst part because yeah. sometimes when you have issues from home issues from the fact that you have nowhere to rehearse or no industry or no platform you want to be appreciated from just the audience yeah but you don't want a situation where the same audience that you're giving your art to and look it, appreciate it but look down, down on, on you, you. Yeah. so we're called to weddings we're called for music videos. Yeah. We're called for every event. We spice up everything, but we're at the bottom of the food chain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Really so unfair, we're yeah. most needful, yet disrespected highly. So that, that, that's the that's hardest why challenge. That's we have the both of you to mm. help change. Yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> to change the narrative. Like you always say, yeah. the change starts from within. Yes. yes. I think you all did a great job so far. An amazing, thank you. beautiful, thank fantastic you. job. Thank I love you. It. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank, <laughs> you. thank you. Thank you. Thank so, of course, before we get too carried away, uh, let's just have a quick break and we'll be back with more personal questions with Eno and Fassi. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Emmanuel Oyeleke. I'll be photographer for Lagos, Nigeria. I'll be fashion photographer and I'll be visual artist. And this is a Pro Masterclass Africa. If you want to take your game to the next level as a photographer with Day for Nigeria, the first thing we say, you guys will be your basics. For this platform, you go learn everything will be 
about photography. Shutter speed, ISO, lighting, fashion photography, sports photography. Watch out for more from this platform. And don't forget to sign up as soon as possible.